Today we'll be looking at uniform velocity. What is velocity? Rate of change of displacement. And what is displacement? The distance covered in the specified direction. So when we say the velocity is uniform, it means that the rate of change of displacement is constant with respect to time. Graphically, when we talk about displacement time graph, displacement time graph, it means displacement is plotted against time. Displacement against time. Time is in seconds. Displacement is in meters. So if the graph is plotted, this is the y-axis, or what we call the vertical axis. This is the x-axis, what we call the horizontal axis. If this graph is plotted and we have a linear graph, what we call the straight line graph, we can say that the velocity is uniform or constant. It means that the rate of change of displacement is constant with time. Assuming there's what we call slope or gradient. Assuming this is the straight line graph and we have the, the slope here. If this is displacement, this point is what we call S2 and this point is what we call S1. And from here, we have T1 and T2. T2. So slope, slope will be equal to change in displacement all over change in time. So in this case, in this context, the rate of change of displacement is constant. And then we can talk about uniform velocity. But whereas the rate of change of displacement is not constant, in this, that case, we have something like this. We have a curve or a nonlinear graph. If you have something like this, this is displacement in meters, and this is time in second. Assuming you have something like this. You can see the graph is not linear. It's not a straight line graph. Rather, what we have is here is a curve. So if you want to take a slope, you can draw a tangent. And this point, at this point, what you are trying to look at or calculate is the slope at this particular point. And not this particular point, not this particular point, not this particular point. So you have this, the, 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 the gradient at a particular point. So in this case, what you are trying to calculate is what we call instantaneous velocity. It's what we call instantaneous velocity. What do you mean by instantaneous velocity? Velocity at a particular point, at that particular instant. So we have uniform velocity and instantaneous velocity. So we also want to look at a problem here that has to do with uniform Velocity. A man started from a point 45 minutes from his house and ran further 
in the same direction with an average velocity of 15 meters per second for one minute. How far now is he from the house? So let's look at this solution. You may even sketch this. Let's say a man started from a point 45 minutes, 45 meters rather, from his house. If this is the man's house, and the man started 45 meters from his house, maybe he started at this point, I ran further for in the same direction with an average velocity of with an average velocity of 15 meters per second for one minute and that time is one minute so they're not asking us how far now is he from his house the distance from this particular point to where the house is but already we know the distance from his house to where he started so we need to calculate the distance from where he started to the point he stopped. So in this case, you know, we have the equations of motion. I say that S is equal to the one that connects distance. V plus U all over 2 times T. I also have S is equal to UT plus half AT square. I will also have v square equal to u square plus 2as. These are the equations that connect distance. And we are looking for distance. If you look at, let's start from the one down. There's no time here. So we can't use this. We know time here. But we don't know the acceleration. So we can't use this. But here, we know the average, this is what we call the average velocity at time. Average. Remember, we are talking about average velocity. So V plus U over 2 is what we call the average velocity. So in this case, we use it where the average velocity V plus U over 2 is equal to 15 meters per second. So what do we do? And time is giving us one minute. But minute is not a SI unit. So we need to convert it to seconds. How do we convert minute to second? One minute equivalent to 60 seconds. And remember we are converting from a big to a small, so we simply multiply 1 by 60. So we we'll have 1 times 60, which will give us 60 seconds as our time. So the distance now will be equal to 15, which is the average velocity times 60 which is average velocity times 60. So 15 by 60 will give us 900 meters. But that is not the answer. Because the question is, how far now is he from his house? He already covered 45 minutes and he started the journey from this point. So we have calculated this distance, this, this distance now to be 900 meters. So to find the distance, from where he is now at the house, we we'll simply add 945. Is that right? So therefore, total distance or total S is equal to 45 plus 900. And that gives us 945 meters. 